Yo, welcome back to another episode of Those Car Dudes. And today, what are we doing today? Uh, today, we're actually going to be putting in some seats into the massive skyline. The skyline. What kind of seats did we get for your skyline? Bright black carnivals. Look at them! Oh. We're putting them in today, aren't we, Nathan? We sure are. So literally, all we have to do um, to get the seats out is just to uh, unbolt, a couple of bolts, and um, they're just over here underneath these plastic clips. Um, There's one. There's four of them on each seat. Other than that, we'll get the rails on the seat first, on the new seat, and then we'll bolt them on. The chassis, I guess. Without even looking at it, I'm guessing that's probably. What do you reckon? 14? Hello. First try, what's this? What's today? Wednesday? I don't even know. Father's Day. Tuesday, Tuesday. Father's Day? It's payday, Tuesday. That's a 14. <laughs> hey! Oi, first pot, this guy. Don't you just love the sound of a decent ratchet? You know, like, I don't know what it is. Really? This, let me play you the sound of my people. <laughs> you know he's a true car enthusiast when he does the driver's seat first. <laughs> Once you've done those four bolts, out comes the seat. What's that cable? Do you have a thing that tells you when you're sitting in the seat and you don't have your seatbelt on? Yeah. That'll be what it is. Most likely. It's a sensor. See whether you got your seatbelt on. Who would have thought a Datsun has wires under its seats? Who would have thought? Oh, look at this. Race car, bro. Oh, I'm sitting on a ratchet banner. Oh, bro, just drive it like this, G. Heel and toe. What you look like. Look at that. Bro. Japanese money, genuine import. JDM money. <laughs> money, wow. This is gonna be the Skyline coin, is what this is. I've officially, from this from this moment forth, this has been named the Skyline coin. 10, that, whatever That's it is. actually what it says in, yeah, in yeah, the Japanese, in Japanese translation. So then you just gotta line up the rails on your new seats, which you should buy with the seats, because sometimes they uh, hook you up with a bit of a deal, a bit of a discount. Four bolts on each seat rail. The other thing you can probably do is lie the seat flat if they're reclinable and do it on the floor. But we are too cool for school and uh, we're just doing it like this. All right, so now we need to tighten the bolts and this is what it's come to in terms of how we're doing that because we can't seem to get a normal spanner in there <laughs> and we're limited on tools at the moment. <laughs> That's not working, bro. <laughs> That's so funny. I'm just gonna try a widget. You need this, bro. You need this with the little bit. But we oh, don't know where the bit is. I'll have a look for the bit. Alright, another thing you need to do is remember the seatbelt. So you have to take this off here. So it's just a 14mm bolt on the side of the seat. Depending on what car you've got. Could be different. Under here you've got your cable um, for the, basically it's the sensor um, or what plugs into the sensor to tell you when somebody is sitting in the seat uh, without their seatbelt on and um, we're going to be reinstalling that on the new seats later on but first we need to unclip it from here, real simple, just a cable tie. Go. Look at that, easy as that. And um, remember what side they're on, make sure you separate them, you don't want to get them confused. It probably doesn't really matter, but yeah, it probably doesn't really matter. All right, JD, what time is it? It's bright time. Oh my gosh, it's raining. Let's put those bad boys in, you know what I'm saying? Oh, oh shivers, man, you just scratch your fresh to death paint job. Look at that. That's so mean. You literally just have to bolt, I'll show you on this side. Four bolts, one, two, three, and four. 
So when you're putting the seed in, you want to make sure that you've got these brackets and you're putting them in correctly because we, the first time we did this, we actually didn't do it correctly. Um, these brackets are not like freaking the same. Like one is for the right seat and one is for the left. So if you can see this one here, you want to have that so it's pointing up with a gap there because you've got a bolt on the seatbelt clipper here and have enough space for the bolt. If it's the other way it's going to be pointed like this and it's actually going to be flush up against there which is the problem we had before. So we're going to put that on there like that and then the seat is going to go over it like a little hole there, hole down there and then JD is going to put the nut over that. These bolts are the ones that we bought which are extra bolts to mount the seatbelt clips. Um, on the new brackets and put it back there the bracket and then um, it'll be easier to uh, get to and so down here we're just bolting that um, seat belt we've got the cable pointing downward so it can go underneath the seat and we can um, plug it in under there we'll probably cable tie it later as you can see these will oh these will lift up oh squeeze past there and it's a tight squeeze, but you've got your seat belt and you can plug it in. Now you just gotta do all the bolts up, all four bolts on the corners. <laughs> As you can see, JD is absolutely loving it. Built, not bought, bro. Built, built, not bought. built, not bought. How's it going? Oh, you're adorable. You're weird. What happened? What happened, mate? You're weird. Alright, so after a little bit of trouble with the uh, seat belt bracket, it's a bit of a squeeze down there. We've got them both in, both seats are bolted in. Um, JD did most of that, um, just sticking his hand down there. How do you feel about that? I'm probably gonna do what you gotta do, man. You gotta do what you gotta do. So today we realized something. We realized after putting these bride seats in that the back seat is now completely useless. Let me show you what I mean. I'm just, I'm a pretty small guy. I am a bit, I'm fairly tall, you know. Not tall, tall, average. But I'm a skinny guy, you know. And this is what happens when you want to sit in the back seat. Oh yeah, I'll put the seat forward for you. Oh, so that's all the way forward. Oh, there we go. My bad, it does. Leads a whole lot. Look at that. Come have a look at that. Beautiful. All right, so that's as far as the seat goes forward and leans. So you got some friends over, you want to go out a night on the town. Jump in the back, boys. All right. <laughs> How easy is that? Driver's seat's even worse if you're coming through on that side because there's a extra like little seat belt um, assist thing you got to get your back past and go like this. So, oh yeah, we made it to our destination. Hey ladies, how's it going? <laughs> Sorry, just do one moment with you. <laughs> so it's real simple, you know, real easy to get in and out, really practical, and um, I think everybody should buy these seats. So we uh, managed to get the seats in. They look fantastic. I am so stoked, like I know it's going to be a bit dodgy driving around with them, but hey, you know what? Risk it or lose it, right? Yeah, so yeah, the back seat's a little dodgy, but um, that's all good. Hey, that's what you get for, you know, modifying your vehicle. And um, to be honest, it's not impossible. When, once you're back there, they're not too bad. <laughs> um, but they are very comfortable seats. They hug you, and we actually went for a drive in them, and they're really, really nice. You can get them in real easy. <laughs> <laughs> right, we a bit it. We had a little bit of trouble. It's about, <laughs> about a 20 minute job, you know. Just bolt in, belt out, you know, just out with the old Four bolts. With, and with the new, Easy you know. Ass. We managed to suss that. We hope your this tr tutorial helped you guys. Um and if you're installing aftermarket spe seats, especially in a skyline. Or an RB. An RB. Because they're all the same. Bolt in, bolt out, right? Bolt in, bolt out. Yeah. <laughs> Not like BMWs. Oh, what? No, no, BMWs are great because <laughs> everything's bolt and bolt out, excuse me. And you don't really need to do much to a BMW because I already race cars from the factory. We already talked about this. <laughs> BMWs are race cars from the yes, factory. It's so badly misled. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, we hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know what you think in the description. 
and well, I mean, I'm not in the description. You can't access my description. That'd be just trippy, <laughs> wouldn't it? Anyway, that would uh, be illegal. That's what that, <laughs> that would be. That would be illegal. <laughs> that would be hectic. Anyway, let us know what you think in the comments, and um, we will see you next time. Peace out, guys. Cheat. Too strong for tools, he just hand tights everything because tight is tight. Tight is tight, you know how it is. <laughs> it's like your favorite <laughs> saying, dude. Tight tight. <laughs> Even when it's stripped. Even when the bolt is stripped. Tight is tight for JD. Woo!